Everybody, it's Evicta. It's time for another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Saturday, Mosh Pit. Hope your weekends have gone off to a great start. We are waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes. A couple of them are very close from this like really crazy week of likes on the like streak. So thank you all very much for that. Speaking of crazy, here's your crazy meme of the day brought to you by OK Loss 5219 I think it's a first-time meme submitter. Top throw with Sauce and Victor getting jumped by nine pink monstros, and I had to. <laughs> I saw this one. And like, I just had to take note of like the extra time that uh, OK Law spent on actually taking the the literal monstros from that screenshot and putting him on the NWO's face. I thought that was really just primo stuff. Thank you very much, OK Law, and everyone who upvoted that one. Like I said, hope your weekends are going off to a great start today. Okay, seed day is going to be one jowl seven echo six eight. We've got uh, Hamalacria and teleport. Um, yeah. Also a little chubby. So here's the thing with starting with Hamolacria in a weird way is not as bad as taking it and then kind of like insta dunking your run because like you just don't get any more tears ups. Like we're we're establishing at a baseline level very early on that we're going to need help, right? Um Hamolacria was one of those items where I, it was like an automatic pickup. I was like, uh yeah, you 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 just take Hamolacria all day, every day, and that's just what you do. Um, but I have since kind of done a 180 on that. And now I don't actually think that Hamalacria is all that good. Um, it's not, it's, to me, it's not worth the tier height. And that's the real big issue that I have, uh, with Hamalacria. It's not necessarily the tiers down, but the tier height. Um, it makes some rooms very kind of dumb. Um, it also makes it to where like, unless you just have a really powerful, amount of tier up effects or like a, just a really fast shot speed. It makes Beast literally impossible in some cases where you just can't even hit her. So all that to say is that I don't think Hamalacria is like an automatic pickup anymore. It still can be pretty good if it's if combined with certain amount of tier effects, particularly Brimstone and Hamalacria is very, very strong. But on the flip side of things, Hamalacria is very, it does deal a good amount of damage. Um, yeah, we can try for the big room or something. Okay. <sighs> I knew I was going to do that. As soon as I walked out the door, I was like, yep, I'm going to lose where I was on the map. All right. Absolute garbage tier play right there. Um, you get me ranting, you get me ranting and talking about an item and I just stop paying attention to where I'm walking. Um, but yeah, the range upgrade is not necessarily all that great for Hamalacria. Um, again, with the aforementioned tier height thing, there are certain tier effects, particularly Brimstone, that can make Hamalacria better. Um, anything that anything that can synergize with a good amount of splash tier effects, uh, Jacob's Ladder is another one that comes to mind, or even like uh, Holy Light. Those kind of those kind of effects really are where Hamalacria shines. Where we just have vanilla of Hamalacria right now is where it's, in my opinion, the weakest. Um, as you see, the, the tier height is somewhat, it, it doesn't go, it doesn't always obey what you, it doesn't always do what you think it's going to do. Um, sometimes you think it's gonna go over like a wall or something like that, and then other times it just doesn't. So it's it's always a surprise with Hamalacria. I'm gonna bomb the donation machine just because A, we have way too much money in there, and B, uh, I just wanna buy the soul heart. I'm still kind of mad about walking in those spikes. Which, I, again, I'm, I'm mad about it for myself. I'm mad at myself for myself. Getting some huge first floors here. So, um, but, you know, we have to look at it from the from the long point of view, the long haul point of view here. With Hamalacria, you know, you do have a large amount, large amount of damage. It is technically a pretty good item to practice your aiming with. Um, it kind of gears you up for, in a weird way, Ipecac. It, it works exactly like Ipecac does, except minus the explosion. Whereas the tier doesn't necessarily have to make contact with your target, as long as like the shadow of your of your shot actually actually makes contact with like what you're trying to hit. Essentially, is what is that's what it comes down to. See if we can get an extra soul heart here, we do not. We have dangle. Um, I am probably going to end up using this chariot card, maybe. See, I mean, we're doing we're doing decent damage. It's not to say that Hamalacri is bad. It's, just, it's another one of those items where, like, again, I've, I've just kind of flip flopped on where I thought it, 
you know, I think it is good in some in some cases, and I think it's not so good in other cases. So, shade is not very good. Um, it's it's been it's it has been improved uh, significantly. So, but I don't think that shade is still worth three soul hearts. No thanks. It, it's Let's see if we can get a full charge here on our teleport. Maybe get into the teleport or into the uh, curse room for half price. Um, there is a sack room now, and, and this is something that we could potentially get a little bit of uh, extra help on here. Thanks to Old Bandage giving us some red hearts every time we take damage, assuming that it pays out with a good amount, which we do have a very good amount of luck here. Uh, potentially speaking, we could maybe get some help to get a couple extra items. Now, there are three tiers. There are three. I don't know if these are tiers up or tiers down pills. It's probably tiers down. We're friends till the end, okay. This is one of those rare cases where, like, I am willing to kind of risk it a little bit just to see if we can maybe get a stat up out of out of three like uh, pills. But the big question is, do we go for the sack room here? Even if the the answer is no. Even if even if old bandage pays out, we still only have one red heart heart container that's it so it's like we could have a million red hearts on the ground and it's still not going to matter like we still can't take any more hits on the sack room because it unless we get something like wafer or the, or the cancer item um it's not going to it really is not going to matter uh blasting cap nah you'll stick with the uh in bulb gonna fire off the world card now there is another sack room here so again, potential potential big time play so going here we get a whole lot of big time nothing oh uh, well, we got a nickel so it's okay uh we could it, it's a small risk but we could go in here okay never mind just kidding uh the risk there would be that we would get taken to the imera room with a teleport which is not necessarily ideal in this situation because obviously we want to go into the other rooms first but focusing on the positives here of hamalacria obviously our damage is going to be very good um if you manage to finagle with some splash damage shots onto the same target at the same time you will be able to get pretty much lethal damage on most if not all mobs uh, that are not bosses early on a dead tooth, which is a big old nothing burger of an item, unfortunately. Um, could go. We might as well go check the sack room here. That's a, that was a nice little snipe there by Little Chub. This is a red heart, but again, that's a moot point because we we simply just do not have the HP to do anything about that. So hoping that we get some maybe tinted rock or just a random soul heart would be nice. I do like this little follow-up thing that uh, little Chubb is doing. We, we knock him, we we set him up, and we and little Chubb knocks it down. Now, tech one with the Hamalacria is very good. Okay, this becomes priority number one is getting tech one here because. Tech one basically it basically removes a large aspect that is kind of a bad deal with Hamalacria. Okay, great game. Uh, which is which is all those splash shots not doing anything essentially. Whereas Tech one is going to make all those all those beams fire out every single time Hamalacria hits the ground. So yeah, that getting Tech one is is now priority number one. Consolation Prize is going to give us some money and also well, just a very, very slight tears up. It's slight because obviously we've got uh, Hamalacria. Come on. Don't, don't screw us now, game. You know what the game wants me to do? It wants me to, it wants me to go into the, the mob trap room is exactly what it's trying to do.
This game wants me to use... It wants us to waste bombs, and it also wants me to go into the uh, mob trap room. They're thereby costing us more HP and then giving us nothing. Can't do anything about those sacks either, unfortunately. And we got a golden key and a bomb. I'm gonna be real mad if we don't get tech one after the amount of money that we spent, also the amount of like hits that we're taking here. There's another downside of Hamilacria, the visual doo-doo that uh, results from you firing off all those splash shots and the game does not do an adequate job of showing you which shots are yours versus which shots are not. So we're now forced to either bomb. We don't know where the super secret room is yet. We still haven't, we still haven't seen it yet. We're gonna be forced to bomb the keeper in the shop. There's not too many more spaces that the super secret room could be. Okay, super secret room. Got a lot of super secret nothing. So now it comes down to playing the sack room for pennies. We would need it to pay out with two pennies each. Well, with one penny each tap, I mean. I'm gonna bomb the reroll machine to see if we get some money out of it. Got one penny. I'm gonna come down here and bomb Keeper. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Utterly ridiculous. We are stuck with Hamilacria. We might as well go fight the boss since we're here. Super Secret Room is north of there, most likely. Could be north of here as well, I guess. And that's no poison there. The luck upgrade, not that that matters. We failed another deal with the angel or devil. All right. Use teleport just to try to save us some time going back. And uh, backtracking here. All right. Well, hopefully, maybe we can get a damage upgrade. Again, a tier effect would be amazing. Like tech one, that would be a very nice one to get. Brimstone, something like that. Of course, that's predicated on us actually getting items uh, that we can actually use. Normally, by now, we would have gotten some kind of devil deal. Okay. Uh, larynx is lair bad. It, it, the thing about larynx is that like, if it had a lower cooldown and did like lethal damage to bosses, then we, we would be, you, you'd get my attention, but larynx, it while it does kill some early game bosses for sure, it's got a ridiculous cooldown. I mean, a 12 room cooldown. It does activate when you do take damage, like kind of like has like a built in nun's habit effect, which is kind of nice. Admittedly, it's kind of okay. But that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for kind of okay for my space bar. I want something that's going to be really impactful. You know, at least with teleport, we can sort of save time and kind of zip around. We can get out. We can get out of like challenge rooms, that sort of stuff. Or we can just completely go backwards. I'm 
Let's see if the super secret is in. It's normally north of this room here. I'm gonna walk out, walk back in, and reset the turrets. Old man is hooking us up a little bit. Oh, look at all this money that we're getting. If only there was a claw machine we could have. More luck for us here, and old manage continues just to be an absolute all-star. The loss will at least give us flying for a room here. Obviously, we're going to go all the way back to the shop and hopefully get some kind of uh, the mapping would be good. I mean, really anything. Like, it's the the world is currently our oyster, and right now we're we're all out of sauce. I don't, I don't even the the so, the oyster eaters even eat sauce for their oysters. I don't know. Never been an oyster fan. Always, it's all like I love seafood. Don't get me wrong, but like oysters, I've I've had them a couple times, and they're they're just not my jam. Out of a penny, it's probably better than the dim bulb here just because, like, we're not really using teleport all that much. That was one full soul heart, huh? Very important that we hold on to this bone heart as much as we can. Another world card. All right. And we teleported directly out of the room we were just in. Okay. Yeah, taking counterfeit penny here just makes more sense than taking the uh, dim bulb. Like, we're, we're, we're barely using teleport as it is right now. And even when we do use it, it only lasts for the room that we that we have used it in and then after that the bonus goes away and then you know because it's got got such a very easy easily rechargeable cooldown just like every space bar item we don't really maintain enough of the benefit for me to justify hey we should be holding on to this over something that could potentially pay out of control for us which is the counter for penny I go back and just continue to tap this temperance machine here get another nickel on a dime oh okay that basically paid for anything that we need, and we're gonna finally head on down. But uh, yeah, a whole lot of I'm just gonna hold these, hold on to these red hearts. Whole lot of nothing, right? Whole lot of nothing right now. World. I mean, at least we're getting some kind of mapping. <laughs> Even though it's just in the form of like a world card, a sun card, and another world card, but better than not. Sure. Not any bombs. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can get into the curse room for half price here. Spiders, more spiders, and another magic skin. Neat. The, remember the first time you you gave us that item game? We didn't take it. Yeah, my my opinion still has not changed on it. Stop giving me that item now. Teleport did save us a fair bit of uh, walking here. And that's what maxed out tiers looks like with Heyman Lacaria, which again kind of is the reason why I'm not a huge fan because like it has, it has the penalties of Brimstone as far as tiers go, as far as tier effects are concerned and the tiers rate is concerned, and nowhere near the benefit of Brimstone. A tier detonator, on the other hand, tier detonator is very very interesting with Heyman Lacaria, and I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you right meow, well not right meow but in a little meow. Um, 
because what happens is it will split like that. And then those shots become Hamulacria shots as well. And what's cool about this is if you end up getting more splash effects, um, you can actually like detonate an entire room, which is really cool to see. Yeah. So notice how all these tiers over here, those were already, those are already like passive shots that I had shot previously. And we're just kind of splitting off into nothing. And then we detonate them again. And they turn into new... Essentially, they turn into new Hamulacria shots. So watch this. See what I mean? So you wait for your tier to actually hit the, the initial target. And then you use tier detonator. And you get a whole bunch more shots that come out of nowhere. And it does a fantastic amount of damage. Now, just imagine... I hate to keep beating a dead horse here. But just imagine if we had a tier effect like, I don't know, maybe Tech 1 or brimstone and then we do that it's it is a room killer and very very strong against bosses so we got a we got a fun fun hemolacrio synergy coming up here this is not a good up this is not a good match for you gate i'm sorry actually i'm not sorry cuz it's it's red gate Angel deal. And Celtic Cross was what we've been waiting for for five floors. All right. Celtic Cross. You know, like right there, you would think that the Tam that the Hamilacre tier would just hit this pile of rocks in front of us. But then it goes over it. But then uh, in the other room, we had a steel block, one singular block in front of us. Hamilacre is like, a, pff, well, are you kidding me? We can't go over that. Oh, there's, there's rules and regulations here in this game. What do you mean? Me go over a single block? Fantasy world are you living in? So we are we are literally one good tier effect away from absolutely destroying this game with this combo. Brimstone would be what we're looking for. There's a reason why I was kind of bummed out that we got an angel deal. See now our now our tier height's actually so high that we're not able to hit anything, even though we're shooting directly in front of us. So this is the downside of Hamilacria. There's many downsides to Hamilacria, but this is this is the big issue that I have with this item is the the idea of t of tier height. It's a very disruptive and needlessly complicated stat that this game does not need at all. It's needlessly. And a greed fight for our final shot. Right. So we got, I think, no use out of our counterfeit penny at the end of the day. But hey, at least we got a Steam sale, which you can just keep game. I shan't be going to any more shops on this here trun <laughs> there's some alliteration in there that i'm sure worked with a different word but didn't quite land for the way that i thought it would yeah there's the big explosion there of hemolacria you know, just pepper everything in the room with tons of blood rain tears and ogre There we go. No deal with the devil, no deal with the angel, and uh, yeah, we'll just head on down.
Get the nine volt with this combo. Like, don't let this, don't let this like pretty mediocre run. Actually, below mediocre run. Don't let this bad run like poo poo you on this on this combo because this combo is actually legit OP. Like, if we had if we had gotten tech one, we would have you you'd be seeing what I'm talking about because as you can see here, like you can just make a bunch of shots appear out of nowhere. I mean, you're conjuring shots out of thin air and the amount of damage that it does is pretty impressive because not because like we're dealing lots of damage in like a single shot it's just the sheer amount of volume of tears that are produced by tear detonator and hamalacria that's the that's the impressive part about this combo i'm not doing this really. I don't know how would you get hit by that try my best to run into every possible shot imaginable in this room. By some miracle, we didn't take a single lick of damage in this room. I again, I don't know how. <laughs> but we got little Gertie with us, you know, and she's happy. She's happy to be here. We're happy that she is here. You no, know, she's like a, she, she's like a proxy little sissy. would do that when you try acted <laughs> yeah you can die now thanks get a tears up which is not gonna do anything because we're already capped and another angel deal and jar or sorry urn of souls mm-hmm Bingo, bango, bongo. We got ourselves a bumbo. I guess I'll take Mysterious Paper. Maybe we'll get the negative effect out of it. I mean, the items that we've gotten on this run are comically bad. Not in the sense that, like, we've gotten, like, terrible items, but just, like, they don't do really anything. That helps us that much. You know, like on its own, you know, skinny on mushroom is somewhat great in most situations anyway. Consolation prize, it tried its best. Uh, but then there's items like, say, you know, like the blanket, which is not a bad item, but it's just, it doesn't help us for 99% of the level that we're currently in. Um, Celtic Cross, you know, we're not pro probably not going to play any any temperance machines or anything like that for the rest of this run it is nice whenever it procs but you know you have to take damage in order for it to happen little chub even though we like little chub she's you know not not really the uh not really a barn burner hard carry item that we would like not a tear effect or anything like that Even like rubber cement and continuum with this combo is just like try this combo out on a different seed. That's what I should be saying is, is try out the tear detonator hamilacria combo on a different seed because we've I, I wish I wish I had the archive of St. Victor runs to go back and search for hamilacria tear detonator because I know that we've had this combo before and it's absolutely shredded things. And it's still doing an adequate job at killing stuff right now. It's just it's just way less impressive just because we have no associated like hard stats with it or tier effects that we can really sh let it shine, you know. As of right now, we've got we've got 5.3 damage and no tier effects to show for it other than Hamalacria. So, but don't get it twisted. This combo is very good. It's the reason why I bought it. I mean, how often do you see me take tier detonator? Al almost literally zero. You know, and and teleport would have saved us a lot of time, I'm sure. Maybe even gotten us into an eye mirror room. Let's stop getting lit up by these freaking eye lasers.
I, just, I wish the tear detonator had a slightly faster recharge time. Got another angel deal. And scapular and seraphim. Scapular and seraphim. Mm hmm. Just for S's and G's, I'm going to see if. Does the seraphim tier split as well with the tear detonator? It does. Okay, that's interesting to know. Why tier detonator was not uh, fully charged there? Actually, I do know it's because we used it in the room previous. There we go. So you're seeing little, little flashes here and there of what tier detonator Hamilacra can do. It's just it's not getting it's not getting a, a fair shake in this run. It's, it's not it's not breathing, right? It's not it's not really being allowed to sing in this run. A room that Sinvicta does not feel like being in very much. Yeah, so you see that proxy damage that we're able to deal with those the splash shots of Hamilacria and we get in. All right. Still refuse to do this room game. Okay, good. All right, east side of the map, everybody. Let's go check out the north side. You see all the visual doo-doo I was talking about earlier. There's, there's plenty of it when you got Hamilacria. And we have successfully navigated this run without getting a single damage up. In fact, our damage has gone down since we started this run and we found another dead end. All right. That's just how we do. Gertie, I'm not going to lie. You were really distracting me down there. A super greed fight. For the record, taking Scapular was the right call over Seraphim. I, I was just kind of curious to see whether or not we would have gotten a, uh, or whether or not the, uh, the Seraphim tiers do actually split with Tear Detonator, and it turns out they do. It's pretty cool. This is a this whole run is just a cavalcade of of missed opportunity, I think. You know, we haven't gotten any movement speed upgrades. We haven't gotten any damage upgrades. Yeah, we've actually lost damage in this run. Uh no tier effects really to speak of. Other than Hamilacria, which is what we started with. Kind of taking stock of, you know, what this it could have been a promising run, man. Really could have. Ace of Hearts would be nice if we could get it, but we not have the ability to fly. <laughs> uh, us having the ability to do anything in this run, uh, I don't think so. Let's get hit by just random stuff. Luckily, the I mean, old bandage has been like an all star here. Don't know why I'm bombing that. Just felt like it. Felt right, you know. Um, okay. From my point of view, it looked like Seraphim actually shot us. I was very confused as to how we took damage there. Did he get the did he get the sirens call or something? I'm not sure what's going on. Movement speed would have been nice as well on this run. The 
This might be a... It's not a record low for items, but I mean, we've only taken... We've only taken 16 items, y'all. We started with one of them, and the other one is the Polaroid. So, technically speaking, only 14 items have been taken this entire run. That's... That's pretty impressively bad in terms of quantity of quality items. We'll spewer magic fingers, dead eye, and brown nugget. All right. Oh. We got Curse of the Maze to hold whole country away from where we started, and it's dead eye. So Deadeye is nice with Hamalacria. The damage ramps up very quickly. Um, I still would prefer some kind of like piercing shot or like really any any type of tier effect that would give us like some other effect. It'd be grand. Okay. Don't get twisted. We ain't out of this. This one ain't over yet, folks. Now the real question is, do we go back for the tier detonator or not? I think the answer is no. I think we just try to full send it here. Get the slow there from sticky bombs. The poison from little spewer. This is a very, this is a very uninteresting run. <laughs> it's it's hard for me to like to try to cover a run like this when there's like not really a whole lot to talk about. Um, it's it's the run that could have been. Like I seriously, really, really wish that we would have gotten brimstone. Tech, us not getting tech one should have been the sign. That that was the that was the cue that there, that there was going to be nothing, nothing super spectacular about this run in our favor here. I mean, when our MVP is like old bandage, probably not a probably not a good indicator. But there you go. So Hamilacria, I mean, you know, jury's still out out there. Let me know in the comments down below what is your take on Hamilacria. I think the item is not that great. Um, it. There's bits and pieces of it that can be really, really strong, especially with the tier detonator under the certain, under the right conditions and with the right tier effects. You could definitely make a case for it, but then you're kind of getting into the, well, this item needs like this item and this item, this item to be a lot better than it is at the base level. And then, you know, that's not really a good indicator of like a quality item, but Anyway, thank you for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on Hamo Lacria for the question of the episode. And thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Have a great weekend. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Herman Haynes, Shock Top, and Nicholas. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com. Last Invicta.